or the topics that we are going to discuss the expression will be discussed operators and arithmetic operators assignment statement compound assignment statement compound assignment operator it must be compound assignment operator and uh, the operator precedence and order of precedence now these are the objectives and outcomes of today's session objectives of this lecture is to introduce you to the idea of operators basically operators are one of the most important uh, uh, concepts or topics uh, in any programming languages because different operators are used for different or for various purposes the outcomes of today's session will be uh, that you would be able or students would be able to understand what is operator you would be able to understand that what operator is and different uh, arithmetic operators and relational operators though we have uh, discussed the uh, arithmetic operators um, many times before this uh, we are also going to look at the relational operators and then you will understand and analyze expression and relational expression uh, and then uh, because these relation uh, relational operators once you understood relational operators and relational expression you would be able to apply these in decision control structure which we are going to discuss in the next lecture so first of all let's see that what operator is now look at the definition here operators are symbols uh, which have some meaning in programming languages now these operators are used in every programming language so that's why you have to keep this thing in mind that they are what they are basically symbols and they have special meanings or some meanings in any programming languages uh, and these uh, operators operate on what on operands basically operands or uh, they may be constants or they may be variables for example if you look at uh, the following examples now op1 this is operand 1 op2 operand number 2 and op3 operand number 3 these are basically variables okay and that's why we call them operands now here you can see we have used one arithmetic operator in this statement we have used one arithmetic operator and one this uh, uh, assignment operator so they are basically both of them are actually operators while rest of them like op1 op2 and op3 they are called as operate uh, operands now operators basically operate on these operands okay so first of all these uh, the expression on the right side will be evaluated to a single value and then that single value will be assigned to this variable through this arithmetic uh, sorry through the assignment uh, operator uh, the first category of operators uh, they are basically arithmetic operators now you can see following are arithmetic operators used for arithmetic operations these operators are basically used for calculation for example adding the total marks of students adding the total salaries okay or uh, when whenever you are designing a software for calculator or uh, whenever you are developing software for uh, the basic calculator so you can use these uh, uh, arithmetic operators now they are used for arithmetic operations or uh, calculation plus is used for addition okay you are quite familiar with these uh, operators in your uh, daily life or in our uh, normal life these are basically in programming languages we call them as arithmetic operators okay so plus is used for addition for example if you want to add two numbers you have to use this operator if you want to add uh, if you want to subtract one number from another number then you can use this operator the uh, subtraction operator this is multiplication operator and this is used for the multiplication and then we have the division operator and the remainder operator now this is, remember that this is not the percentage okay here in programming language we in programming languages we call this operator as 
the remainder operator okay so it's basically used to find out the remainder after the division of one number by another number so these are five basic arithmetic operators and they are used for the calculation or for the arithmetic uh, purposes or the or arithmetic operations now an important uh, concept that you have to keep in your mind before discussing relational operator this is basically expression now what is expression it is basically a statement that evaluates to a value uh, is called an expression so basically expression is nothing but it is uh, a statement that gives us uh, a value and that value will be a single value okay an expression gives a single value we will see the example through the example you would better uh, understand this expression an expression consists of operators and operands now again we have you can see here we have used both operands and operators here so in an expression we use both operators as well as operands you can see this is the example of uh, expression so basically as we have said that expression uh, is a statement that evaluates to a value so assume that we have put some values in A, similarly we have put some values in B. Let's assume in A we have stored 10, in B we have stored 20. So 10 plus 20, now because this operator operates on these operands, okay, that's why we can say that it will give us a single value. For example, 10 plus 20, it becomes 30. Now this 30 is what that is single value. And this will be assigned to the variable or to the operand C through the assignment operator. You can see here we have used the assignment operator. Another example is uh, M uh, divided by 9, uh, sorry, N. M divided by N. Assume that uh, M and M we have stored 9 and, and, and N we have stored 3. So after evaluating this, we get uh, 3. And we get 3 which is a single value and that single value will be stored on the right side of this arithmetic uh, operator. Uh, sorry, this assignment operator. Here again you can see we have used assignment operator. This, evalu this expression will be evaluated to a single value. Let's assume that in x we have stored 9 while so uh, 900. So 900 plus 100 that's equal to 1000. We get a single value and that single value will be assigned to uh, operand A through the assignment operator. Uh, let me repeat this again. A statement that evaluates to a value is called, uh, is called an expression. So this uh, example will, uh, will uh, this is the example of the expression and it will be evaluated to a single value and that single value will then be stored in uh, C uh, variable or in C operand similarly this is also the example of expression and this is also the example of expression. Now another very important uh, uh, operators uh, that are used in programming languages that is the relational operators. Relation means when you find out the uh, comparison between two values. So there are some operators that are uh, in programming languages these operators are used to find comparison between two numbers for example one number is greater than second number or age of a student one is greater than uh, um, than student two then age of student two similarly a uh, student who gets uh, greater than 60 marks they will be passed okay and those who get less than marks less than 60 they will be failed so these are basically the relational or these are known as relational operators. The following operators are uh, known as relational operators. We are talking about these operators, fine. So this uh, symbol, which is a special symbol, this is uh, uh, used for uh, uh, the greater than when two numbers are compared and one number is greater than another number, then we use this symbol or this operator. Similarly, we have less than uh, operator this uh, this symbol will be used for showing that one number is less than uh, another number and again we have greater than or equal to now this symbol is used for uh, showing uh, like when one number is greater than or equal to another number clear and similarly 
we have another special symbol or operator and this is basically less than or equal to so this operator is called as equal operator remember that in programming languages we use a double equal sign double equal sign not a single equal sign because single equal sign is called as assignment operator in programming languages while if you want to compare two uh, values and you want to find out that whether one value is equal to another number then you have to use this operator so we call it equal operator now you can see the relational operators will find out the true or false status of a condition and inform the compiler accordingly whether the va whether this uh, uh, the the relation the operators that we have used in uh, any condition okay uh, it will be evaluated to either true or false and then accordingly the compiler will uh, execute uh, statements we are going to use these relational operators uh, in uh, the if statement or in if l statement which is going to be discussed in next lecture but for now you have to keep this thing in your mind that these are basically the operators and we call these operators as the relational operators or this can also be called as comparison operators because here we find out that whether one number is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to uh, any other number so that's why we call them comparison operator or relational operator now relational expression it, it says that a relational expression is a statement that uses relational operator to compare two values this is basically the example of the relational expression okay it can be uh, composed of uh, operands relational expression can be composed of operands it can be composed of these relational expression or it can be composed of a uh, constant like 15 or 100 okay so this is the example of relational expression you can see just like we have uh, discussed here is a statement relational expression is a statement that uses relational operators to compare two values now in this expression we call this relational expression because here we have used relational operators here one number is compared with another number uh, the result of relational expression can be true or false now keep this thing in your mind that the result of these uh, relational expression can either be true or it can be false uh, for example you can see here that 100 is greater than 15 if you compare these two values so obviously you would say that yes 100 is greater than 15 so uh, it will be evaluated to true result find similarly 25 is less than 5 now this uh, means that this is this will be evo this expression will be evaluated to false why because 25 is not less than 5 25 must uh, 25 is basically greater than 5 that's why uh, this will give us a false result and similarly 30 is less than or equal to 12 again 30 is neither less than nor equal to 12 okay so it will give us the false result and similarly 40 is greater than or equal to 20 though 40 is not equal to 20 but 40 is greater than uh, 20 that's why this will give us a true result similarly 0 greater than or equal to 0 now remember that 0 is uh, 0 is not greater than 0 but 0 is equal to 0 that's why we have used uh, this thing here that 0 is greater than or equal to 0 and it's going to give us the true result similarly 1 not equal to 2 now this is uh, the symbol which is used for not okay not equal now it can be pronounced like not equal so here 1 is not equal to 2 again because 1 is not equal to 2 so the condition will be true or the expression will be evaluated to true or we will get the result as true now 5 is not equal to 5 this is again uh, this is false or the it will give us the false result because 5 is equal to 5 clear so that's why if 5 is not equal to 5 it means that this 
expression will give us false value. So this is how the relational expression works. It is basically a statement and it uses operators to compare two values. It even uses operands, it even uses constants to compare two values. We, were, we are going to use these uh, expressions in uh, relational expression in uh, FS statement or in FL uh, statement. Similarly, they can also be used in loops. Now, assignment statement, though we have discussed assignment statement in previous lecture as well, but let us review here because after this we are going to talk about the compound assignment statement. So, basically here you can see that Assignment, uh, a statement that assigns a value to a variable is known as assignment statement. We talked about this. Assignment statement is what? That assigns a value to a variable. The assignment operator, uh, this operator is used in assignment statement to assign value to a variable. Now, the name of variable is written on the left side. Uh, we are talking about this, okay? The name of the variable is written on the left side of the assignment operator and the value is written on the right side of the assignment operator. So this is basically the value and it is on the right side of this assignment operator while the variable name is basically on the left side of this assignment operator. Another example you can see here, um, this is assignment operator and this is basically value which is a float uh, or the decimal point value 50.4 so it is kept on the right side while the variable name is kept on the uh, left side of this assignment operator so this this is basically a character a character is stored in variable c so value is stored uh, value is kept on the right side while the variable name is kept on the left side let us uh, work on a simple example then you would understand for example we have declared a variable as i told you that whenever you are using a variable the first thing is that you have to uh, declare the variable by declaration we mean that we specify the type of value that we are going to store in a in variable a and also we introduce the variable name that this variable name is going to be used um, if the user is going to uh, store some values okay so uh, let us see, this is the example of the assignment uh, statement. Now, this is the assignment statement. You can see I have assigned a value of 54 to variable A using assignment operator. Clear? So, this, this, statement, this statement is what? This statement is called assignment statement because we have used assignment operator. Now let's try to move on to the lecture here again. This basically, um, this is the assignment statement. Uh, now compound assignment statement, by compound assignment statement we mean that it is a statement that assigns a value to many variables. This is basically known as compound assignment statement. Again, it uses the assignment operator uh, in this statement. So these are the example A and B and 10. Okay, x, y, z, that's equal to 100. Let us work on this compound assignment statement and see that what could be the result. So assume that we are going to use these three different variables. I have declared three different variables. Even I'm going to x, w, x, y, and z. I have actually um, declared four different variables, w, x, y, and z. You can declare different variables in one line as well, but you have to separate them uh, from comma, okay? Like I have used, you have to use comma here. So W is a variable, X is a variable separated by comma, uh, Y is variable and it is separated from X uh, comma and also I have used uh, comma between Y and Z and at the end I have used the uh, semicolon which is the statement terminator. So this way I have declared four different variables. Now let's try to use compound assignment statement. If you want to assign a single value uh, in one statement using assign, assignment operator, then you can say that you have used the compound assignment statement. Now let's try to work on this W, 
uh, then you are going to use x then you are going to use y I'm adding spaces just for the readability purpose okay uh, just for the sake of readability z and we are going to get 50 now if you are going to uh, like print uh, the values of these different variables you will find 50 uh, in every uh, variables let's try to uh, use the value uh, print the values here if we are going to print the value of w then we are going to end line for the for printing value in next line and this will be x the value of x will be printed and here i'm going to print the value of y the value of y will be printed and this will print us the value of z so let's try to run this program and see the result because i have used compound assignment statement this is called the compound assignment statement well, th this is basically the variable declaration statement. And these are the statements that is going to print something on the screen. So the value of W will be taken and it will be displayed on C out, uh, the terminal, okay? C out mean console uh, output. So basically this is uh, the value will be taken and it will be sent to the console terminal and the, the value of W will be uh, Printed similarly, X, Y, Z will also be printed. Let's try to uh, check the result here. Now you can see because here I have um, I have assigned a single value to all these different variables. Now you can see by using the C out W, it has printed me the value of five. Similarly, the value of X is also printed, the value of Y is also printed, and the value of Z is also printed. Uh, let's try to understand uh, the, I think we, uh, or I hope that you have understood the assignment or the compound assignment statement. Let's try to work on compound assignment operator, which is again used uh, for, uh, for ju just for saving time, nothing else, okay? So you can see on, in the first line, C++ provides compound assignment operators that, compi that combines assignment operator with arithmetic operator now we know that what are the arithmetic operators plus minus in these sort of operators um, and we also know the assignment operator so basically compound assignment statement sorry compound assignment operator it combines assignment operator with arith arithmetic operator now uh, we will see example here. Compound assignment operators are used to perform mathematical operation more easily. As I told you that uh, you can more easily use them uh, for just for the sake of saving time or just for the sake of keeping thing, uh, things quite easy. Now this is the syntax. Syntax means how can you write or how can you use compound assignment operator in your program first of all you have to write the variable uh, okay the variable whatever variable is and then you have to use one of the arithmetic operators here and then you are going to use assignment operator or any expression on the uh, left side of the assignment operator now variable the variable to assign a value variable is basically we are talking about this thing uh, so it is what this uh, variable is going to receive or it's going to store a value, a particular value. OP is basically operator. It can be any arithmetic operator. For example, you can use plus, you can use minus, multiplication, const, uh, sorry, division, and any other arithmetic operator. Expression, it can be a constant variable or arithmetic expression, okay? So it can even be a constant, it can even be a variable, or in other words, uh, the, it can also be arithmetic expression. For example, a plus b or 50 plus 3, this is what 50 plus 3 is arithmetic instruction. Uh, now these are the examples. Uh, so here, this is the variable and this is that operator and this is basically the uh, assignment operator. So we have combined the arithmetic plus assignment operator this way. 
So 10 will be assigned to this A. Whatever the value of A would be before this expression, okay? So uh, we would take that value uh, and 10 would be added with the value of A and then again the resultant value will be stored in A. It is just like this. A is equal to A plus 10. Let's try to write a simple program in order to see uh, this thing here. So let's try to say that we have used this, uh, we have declared a variable and what we did here is that we stored 90 in this uh, or we assign a value uh, 90 to variable A. So this is assignment statement, okay? Now let's try to use the compound assignment operator. How can we use compound assignment operator? I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to add this uh, plus, sorry, I'm going to add 90, okay, which is the value of A with a new value. And let's try to see what that new value is. So I have used the arithmetic operator and I'm going to use assignment operator. Fine, and then I'm going to use this uh, 10 here. Now, you, you, you know that in the value of A is what? That is 90. So 90, uh, it is just like this. A, A is equal to A plus 10. So whatever the value of A would be, which is 90, 90 plus 10, that is equal to 100, okay? So you can either write this way or you can use the compound assignment operator like this. So uh, whatever the value of A uh, is, so we have stored 90 here. 90 will be uh, added with 10 or 10 will be added with 90 and then new value will be stored in A. So if you try to print the value of A, okay, let's uh, print a simple message value of A or a simple, more simple, uh, more simple message. Here I'm going to print the value, okay. If you try to write this thing, then the compiler is going to give you error because this A is different than this A. Here I have used, here I have declared uh, the variable name with capital A while I have used this uh, small letter A. If we are going to compile this code, the compiler is going to give me error. See, A was not declared in this scope. So you have to be quite careful about this thing in your program. Now, if I use this thing, everything will be okay. And the result, which will be 100, that 100 will be uh, printed on the screen. So let's try to run this program and see the result. Now you can see in the result, I have got what? A, that's equal to 100. So basically 100 uh, is stored in variable A. Similarly, you can also write program for the remaining of uh, these uh, compound assignment operator, clear? A minus, uh, A minus and then assignment operator 10, okay? Similarly, A multiplication. Let's try to use this multiplication. Only change the sign. It will give us 900, okay? So let's try to run this, compile and run this program. You can see A, uh, the value of A is what? That is 900. So try to use the remaining of these variable, uh, the compound assignment operator in your program, try to write separate program uh, for each of these operators for uh, practice. Operator precedence is very important in um, any programming languages. Now, first of all, we will see that what operator precedence is, or we can say the operator priority, okay? Uh, so, which operator will be evaluated first? Which operator will be executed first? This is what? This is basically operator precedence. Now you can see in the slides there is basically this thing, the order in which different types of operators in an expression are evaluated is known as operator precedence. So basically it shows us the order that how the different types of operators, okay, we have different types of operators. For example, there is plus, there is multiplication, there is parenthesis, there is division, there is minus, okay, subtraction. So each of these has its own precedence, has its own priority, and they are evaluated or they are 
executed according to their uh, precedence or according to their uh, priority. So, the order in which different types of operators in expression are evaluated, it is known as what? It is basically known as operator precedence. Now, it is also known as hierarchy of operators. Why we call it hierarchy? Because it is basically a step by step uh, representation or a level by level representation of these operators. For example, first, which operator is going to be evaluated in expression? Second, uh, what could be the second uh, highest priority uh, operator in a statement, okay? So, this way uh, you can uh, see the precedence of different operators. Now, each operator has its own precedence level. You might have studied in algebra as well that each operator has its own precedence level. If an expression contains different types of operators, the operators with higher precedence are evaluated before the operators with lower precedence. For example, there is expression A, uh, let's, uh, let me write here, let's assume that there is an expression A uh, multiply B plus 4, okay. So, now this multiplication has higher uh, precedence order than the plus, okay. That's why this will be evaluated first and then next will be evaluated. Similarly, um, let's uh, talk about the remaining of this uh, operator precedence, okay. So, we, we talked about this statement a while ago that if an expression contains different types of operators, then operators with higher precedence are evaluated before the operators with lower precedence, okay. So, I hope that you got this point of operator precedence. Now, this is the order of precedence, uh, the order uh, like which operator is going to be uh, evaluated or going to be executed first, okay. This shows the order of precedence. The order of precedence in C++ language is as follow. An expression given in parentheses is evaluated first. Now, keep this thing in your mind that the most or the higher level of the highest level of uh, precedence or the highest order of precedence is with parentheses, uh, okay. So, parentheses will be evaluated first and then you uh, the multiplication and division, okay. Keep this thing in your mind, multiplication and division operators which are this and this, they will be evaluated second. So, the second priority or the second precedence uh, is with uh, multiplication operator. Similarly, the division operator and third is basically uh, plus and minus operators are evaluated. Now, in case of parenthesis, within parenthesis, the expression of the inner parenthesis will be evaluated. For example, if there is uh, an expression, let me write an expression here, 10 plus 10, uh, 10 plus 19, okay there is this thing, okay, and inside here I have uh, to write a new statement or, sorry, a new expression. Now, first of all, this will be evaluated because uh, we discussed that the parentheses, they have the higher precedence. So, inner parentheses will be evaluated first and then the outer will be evaluated next. Now, uh, this is what it means in case of parenthesis within parenthesis. The expression of the inner parenthesis will be evaluated first, clear? So, these are the examples. Now, 10 plus 10, that's equal to uh, 5. Sorry, 10 plus 10 multiply 5. Now, we know that the precedence operator says, sorry, the order of precedence says that, first of all, the highest priority operator is what? That is, this multiplication while the second uh, priority is what or precedence that is plus. So, first of all, this will be evaluated 10 into 5, it will be equal to 50, 50 plus 10 that is equal to 60. Similarly, in this case, I have used what? I have used parentheses. So, parentheses will be evaluated first and then multiplication will be evaluated next. 
So here 10 plus 10 that's equal to 20, 20 multiply 5, uh, 5 that's equal to 100. Uh, and this way, okay, here you have used the, uh, another, there is another expression, okay, 5 uh, into 3. So 5 into 3, it is uh, 5 into 3, 15, okay, and then this will be evaluated uh, 3 by 6, 2. So 2, 15 plus 2, that's equal to uh, 17, because what happens is that the order of precedence says that first uh, either multiplication or division will be evaluated because they have the same uh, precedent just like we have uh, we have studied here multiplication and division operators are evaluated so division and multiplication they have the same precedence while after uh, after evaluating the two values for uh, for example 15 and 2 then the next uh, you have to add them Similarly, here we have got the parenthesis, which is 15. So 15, uh, 15, and that's equal to uh, 3 into 6, 2, 2, 15 plus 17. Again, uh, you have to uh, give it a thought, fine? So similarly, there are many other examples like this. You have to, what you have to do, you have to do it by yourself and then you have to write a program that solves the following expression. Now in the program, what you have to do, you have to assign values to these variables. For example, 10 will be assigned to A, 20 will be assigned to B, and 15 will be assigned to minus C. Again, we have used the remainder operator, okay, and uh, or modulus operator, we call it modulus operator in programming modulus operator like this m u d modulus operator we call it modulus operator okay so modulus operator is this thing in programming language we call it modulus operator now uh, for d we have this it you need to write a program okay that can solve this expression and then check the result that what could be the result. So thank you.